it was around April 2022, um, we got notification that there would be a bus that was coming from the southern border. We had no further information about the bus coming, and so we quickly mobilized um, a group of people. We'd all just come out of the COVID response, and the official COVID response had ended for a few months, but we were all still sort of getting back to our normal day-to-day -day, uh, when this occurred. When we talk about what the first few days were like of the migrant crisis, our team had really worked together very closely uh, during the COVID pandemic. And so we really continued that momentum forward to, um, to tackle this new crisis. This particular flow was very challenging because they didn't have an existing uh, community here to receive them. So it really was left up to the municipal government and the nonprofits to basically provide what usually happens uh, via family and community. From about April to September, the buses were arriving in a very ad hoc fashion from primarily Texas and Arizona. But after a couple of months and thousands and thousands of migrants had started arriving in the district, the mayor decided to declare a state of emergency um, and directed us to establish formally an Office of Migrant Services. It would be sort of three phases. One was the initial response, do what we had to do to, to make sure that folks got the help that they needed. The second response was a more formal emergency structured response. The third would ultimately be like internalizing the work into the Department of Human Services with an official Office of Migrant Services staffed by civil servants who were hired into the district. Their primary role is to make sure that people who come here to Washington, D.C. have the resources, of food, shelter, clothing, support that they need to integrate themselves into our great city. What was needed for that response really created that idea that we needed a centralized point for those arriving so that they could have um, a safe, secure place. In May of last year, we opened the reception center and we've been able to receive thousands of migrants, both that are transitory or choosing the district as their home. What immigrants that are coming in now see is very different than when this first started, when the first buses were arriving. It's easy to lose the story of these folks who have gone through unimaginable traumatic experiences to, to show up in D.C. Once I got out of my office and went to actually see the migrants, that just changed everything for me. Um, because there were people behind this crisis. Every week we will see a family moving on, taking that next step. This is really a team effort, not only this team, but the broader team within the Department of Human Services who stepped up to the plate and other um, agencies and other nonprofit and CBO organizations. We need to recognize entities like this demonstrate how government, nonprofits and community can work together for the good of everyone. Because this is not just going to impact those immigrants that came in, but it will impact everyone in this city as they become contributing members. They should be very proud of what it is they've done because they've made a difference in people's lives. Congratulations to the Office of Migrant Services team. Thank you for rising to the challenge in your exemplary work.